State police say there is no ongoing threat to the public following what they describe as a random deadly attack on a man in Scarborough. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Amanda Hill. That being said, police have not confirmed making any arrests in the case. Here's what we know. Around 8 o'clock Sunday morning, 82-year-old James Pearson was attacked in the front yard of his home in Scarborough. Pearson was taken to the hospital and died as a result of his injuries. Now, since the attack, state and Scarborough police have been working around the clock investigating the homicide. They say progress is being made in the case. State police also say several other police agencies have shared information on incidents that took place during the weekend in their communities and that investigators are looking into whether any of those incidents may be related to the homicide investigation. Now, while state police have not confirmed which other agencies have reported other incidents this weekend, here are a few we know about. On Saturday night, just before 8 o'clock, Brunswick police were called to a home on Wardtown Road in Freeport to assist Freeport police with an incident. Police described that incident as a violent attack at the victim's home. The victim survived but was injured. And on Sunday around 1120 in the morning, the Sagadahawk County Dispatch Center answered a call about a stolen vehicle in West Bath. Shortly thereafter, Brunswick police were called to help find and stop the black Ford Explorer. Officers were told the person in the car had threatened someone with a knife and that the knife may still be in the vehicle. Roughly 40 minutes later, just past noon, the car was stopped on Main Street in Brunswick. Officers drew guns and the driver was arrested. Again, state police have not yet confirmed connections between any of these cases. In regard to the Scarborough homicide, investigators say they have received a number of leads from the public. They've conducted numerous interviews and evidence has been taken to the state police crime lab in Augusta for examination.